Hi ladies, it's me Johnny. I am coming to do a 28 week update. The last time I did an update was four weeks ago, a month ago. Um, I decided that I'm going to do every month, once a month, because it was just really uneventful. Nothing really was going on and it was really nothing to report. So I'm back again um, to do my next update. I plan to do an update once a week once I hit 30 weeks. Um, right now I'm 28 weeks. I want to tell you guys hello, sorry, that I'm a little winded. I tend to get winded pretty fast, even when sitting and talking. And if you can't hear me that well, I'm sorry, my voice is like done ever since I uh, had a cold and I, have, I was coughing a lot. So I uh, apologize in advance if you can't hear me that well. So anywho, I want to go ahead and jump straight into talking about the update my weekly or my pregnancy update so as of now I've gained I would say I think I gained like 21 pounds since the last time I went to the doctor I did miss an appointment unfortunately and it was a um, healthy pregnancy appointment which they weigh you on that one um, the last time I was weighed I, I had gained 21 pounds um, I think I've put on a little bit more weight <clears throat> Because I started taking the um, prenatal vitamins again, and you know when you take prenatal vitamins, you tend to gain, you tend to carry more water weight. Um, <clears throat> so I think I've gained about 21 pounds. Um, as for maternity clothes and things like that, I am wearing maternity clothes. I, I work still, so I'm wearing maternity scrubs. And it just has an elastic band and elastic sides that um, help with stretching or your. it kind of conceals your, well it doesn't conceal your stomach, but it just helps stretch the uniform out while you're um, working. So you won't be wearing a tight scrub uniform if you do wear scrubs. I wear scrubs. Um, I also wear like stretchy pants and I wear like... Um, really loose fitting shirts I don't like really anything tight on my stomach it just makes the baby uncomfortable and the baby move more often when I'm in something that has like it's kind of constricting I think it makes baby uncomfortable um, I do wear maternity jeans I did not purchase any of my maternity clothes um, I, everything was given to me I did have to purchase a few scrub sets um, and I preferably like to use koi scrub sets or Grey's Anatomy scrub sets but um, I do have a few Cherokee scrub sets that was given to me that are maternity um what else uh, I do have stretch marks but I have those from my previous pregnancy I don't think I've I got any extras or new stretch marks um I do make sure I lotion my belly every night and every morning um, the lotions that I use is coconut uh, lotion I think it's um something Hannah or something like that I got it from a beauty supply um, and I use that and I mix it with Moderma stretch mark cream because the Moderma stretch mark cream or lotion is so expensive it's sixty dollars for a small bottle so I don't use a lot of that I just mix it with the coconut but I make sure I get my give a generous amount maybe like a quarter size for my whole stomach and my sides and then um, I mix it together and I put it on my stomach and then I go to sleep or I wake up and get dressed. Um, uh, what else? Sleeping wise, I have not been really sleeping that well. Um, I think once you hit the end of the second trimester, the beginning of the third trimester, you don't sleep anymore. I have this with every single one of my pregnancies. Um, the only one that I did not notice that I wasn't sleeping well or that I didn't, I didn't really get that far along is when I had the miscarriage. So I... I was too early to even honestly know I was pregnant. I didn't even know I was pregnant. So, But with Miguel and Amia, I did start losing sleep around the end of the second trimester, beginning of the third, all the way till the end of the pregnancies. Um, so, I mean, it's normal. I think it's normal to lose, like have pregnancy-induced insomnia. Um, I don't really sleep, <laughs> but I... 
I'm, I'm not as fatigued as I used to be. I just fall asleep randomly during the day, but it's only for like 15, 20 minutes at a time. Um, I did talk to my OB about it, but she just told me to take Benadryl um, to help me sleep or Tylenol PM, but don't take Tylenol that much. Don't take it every day in a row. So pretty much the only time I do take the, I don't really take the Tylenols, but um, when I do take Benadryl, I take it the day that I have to wake up early for work. So um, that's how my sleeping habits are. Fetal movements. Um, baby's moving a lot and a ton. And uh, it's really like oh, uh, very, she's very, or, or the baby's very active. As you know, surprise, we're having a girl. <laughs> I might as well say it. I was trying to keep that for the end of the video, but um gender reveal we're having a baby girl we found out on christmas that we're having a baby girl um but back to what i was saying uh she moves a lot and mostly at night or when honestly she sleeps during the day or when i'm moving a lot or when i'm very active she's not active and then when i'm settled and not really moving that much or if i'm wearing something that makes my stomach feel constricted she'll move a lot um so that is the movements like she moves once maybe twice an hour or if she's really active she constantly moves until she falls back asleep um i am able to feel hiccups um and it makes so funny because it makes my whole stomach move it just like it's like a quick jerk and then like every maybe 10 seconds there's a jerk a jerk <laughs> and it's so funny my son thinks that the baby's jumping around in there um you're able to feel the well we're able to feel the movements on the outside now which is really nice to see um, my stomach move around um <clears throat> um what activities i'm missing i'm missing running going to the gym not gaining weight <laughs> Um, I'm missing makeup. I don't really do my makeup anymore. Um, let's see. I'm missing sleeping on my belly. I would love to just have a night's sleep on my belly because I'm, I sleep on my belly normally. Um, I miss clothing, like wearing different types of clothing, um, like clothing variety. Only thing I'm wearing now is just stretch everything. Everything has to stretch and it has to be really loose on my belly. Um, so yeah that's what i'm missing um let's see what else am i doing what what else is going on for the last four weeks um food cravings uh for food cravings i am currently craving burger king i've been eating like chicken nugget french fries and a bunch of fries 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 and i only want to eat it with the ranch and bar the buffalo sauce if i don't have that i won't eat it um, I've been craving um, Caesar salads from Wendy's, but with uh, a mixture of ranch dressing and balsamic dressing. I will, that's the only way I will eat their Caesar salads, but I've been craving those a lot. Um, cheese grits. I've been having cravings for cheese grits. If you don't know what gr grits are, it's just like a, it's similar to cream of wheat, but uh, better. <laughs> it's a southern thing. I've been craving those. Uh... I've been craving what else I think that's pretty much it like I crave sweet stuff every once in a while um let's see what else am I what's going on with me and the baby um I'm not having any nausea and I haven't vomited in a long time so no nausea or queasiness or vomiting um my belly is getting really big um what else um <clears throat> so yeah we are having a girl uh it's really exciting it's kind of it's bittersweet i mean we we're really excited about it but i mean pregnancy after loss is kind of tricky because it brings all kinds of emotions when you find out you're having the same gender as what you lost so it, it, it's exciting but it's like oh god i hope i don't have to reuse anything 
I would feel really awkward and uncomfortable about reusing things, which brings me to emotions, um, the, my emotions lately. The holidays were really emotional for me. I was like in and out of being grouchy and um, honestly, when you've lost you, the holidays are kind of hard. Um, but so far it has, it's been rough, but um, I just ha only thing I'm doing, like not necessarily doing, but only thing I'm having issues with is just being grumpy. Um, again, we did find out we're having another girl, which gave me, it gave me a little bit of hope and I feel like we're getting a second chance. Um, and Amia picked her out for us and we're really grateful for it. And yeah, so that's my emotions. I've been like, <laughs> just ready to stop working. I don't want to work anymore. <laughs> Um, so let's see, um, did I have any, anything important? I don't think I had anything important for going on with appointments. It's just been really regular appointments, weekly appointments. Um, I'm not having any labor signs. Again, I'm only 28 weeks right now, so I am getting Braxton Hicks, maybe like one or two a day if I'm annoyed or something I get I tend to have more Braxton Hicks during the day if I'm annoyed or when I'm working um I tend to have more Braxton Hicks when I'm working during my shifts like if I'm having any symptoms I think my body's just kind of planning to it's preparing for labor <laughs> which that's what Braxton Hicks are it's just contractions non-progressive contractions so I'm having a few Braxton Hicks uh, my belly button is pretty flat it's still the same as the last time you guys saw it it's not really much going on with my belly it's just it's protruding a little bit my butt belly button is protruding a little bit but it's like flat but with a bump on it you you can't actually see it through my shirts anymore I don't know why I think the position of the baby changed the way my belly button is sitting but it's flat right now um, my reading wing still fits my, I'm not really having any swelling in my um, fingers and hands. So, and my wedding ring still fits. Still loose enough to take off, put on. It doesn't feel like it's constricting any blood flow or anything like that. So, that's good. I get to keep my wedding ring on. I am having swelling in my legs and feet. Um, and I feel like sometimes I swell in my neck also. I do check my blood pressure every time at work. I do run low, so I don't feel like I'm having preeclampsia symptoms um, because my blood pressure is always low. But I am having a lot of swelling in, well not a lot, it's not pitting or anything, but I'm having swelling in my ankles and my feet. And sometimes I feel like my ch like neck swells like I get really fluffy underneath here sometimes um let's see but overall like the last four weeks have been really chill and comfortable and other than the fact that I'm not getting any sleep it's been really uneventful which I wanted I want to not have any issues I just want to kind of coast and right now that's what I feel like I'm doing I'm happy to be and relieved to be in the third trimester. Um, we have 12 weeks left before baby comes. Um, I've already started getting supplies and um, I've received a few things in the mail for the baby, which I'm, I want to say thank you. I wish they would leave their names for the gifts that they're sending. I don't know who's sending me these things, um, but I want to say thank you for the gifts for the baby and Charity sent me a onesie, a rainbow onesie, and I want to say thanks to Charity uh, for the rainbow rainbow onesie. So that was really nice. I wish I could, should have brought it out here so I could show you. Um, but yeah, that's my pregnancy update. Uh, Rich is life update. Rich is on two weeks in the field. So he hasn't been home going on a week. And he has another week and a half in the field. So... He's gone right now. It's just me, my mom, and my little one, and the baby. And um, but overall, everything's been going good. Work is fine. I have to. I seem to have a little bit more energy than I had in the second trimester. I don't want to like go too far and say that I'm super energized because I'm not really. But um, 
I have more energy than I did because I was feeling really sick and like tight fatigued a lot but now I'm able I think I'm used to not sleeping so I'm not as fatigued as I normally am um that's pretty much it for the baby update life update which is in the field uh what else is going on I found out when I'm going on maternity leave my last day at work is February 18th um that is six weeks before baby come oh no no excuse me five weeks before baby comes I did find out that I'm going to have a scheduled c-section if I go to 30 weeks or 39 weeks they don't want me going past 39 weeks so the birth plan we can talk about the birth plan so far me and the doctor have talked a little bit about the birth plan and um, they want to at 32 weeks is when they're going to actually put it in writing what the birth plan is going to be so um, for right now we're just kind of talking and brainstorming together um, they do don't want me to go past 39 weeks so baby <laughs> I will have a scheduled c-section I will have a c-section scheduled for 39 week mark once I hit that 39 week mark but before then they said or she said if I go into labor they're not going to prevent it once I hit 37 weeks um, and they're going to allow me to push or attempt to have a VBAC, which is a vaginal birth after cesarean, if, um, if I do go in labor. So, so for now, it's going to be 30, so once I hit 37 weeks, they will not prevent me from, they will not stop my labor. And I will try to attempt a VBAC. And if I do, they do have uh, tubs and things. I'm going to try to do water. Uh, that would be nice. That's one of my dreams is to have water birth. Um, but more than likely I'm high risk. They're not going to let me. They're not going to go for that. So uh, I'm going to try attempt a VBAC. And if, if there's any complications or the baby is not tolerating, they're going to C-section, emergency C-section. She said that it's going to, the, the result, the result of being high risk and having a previous C-section is if there's any slight chance of anything you're going to just c-section um what else did they tell me oh um at 30 weeks i'm going to start weekly nsts which is non-stress tests um I, they have been giving me a few of them but it's not like on the schedule they just kind of give them to me randomly but at 30 weeks i will start non-stress tests weekly um so yeah that's it uh at 30 weeks again i'm going to start doing weekly updates because i feel like the third trimester is a little bit more eventful than the second trimester uh but yeah and i'm going to be doing the non-stress test so i want to make sure i update you ladies on how the baby's tolerating labor or tolerating stress and to make sure we'll kind of just keep you guys updated you know what i mean uh so yeah, I don't think I really have anything else to to tell you guys to update you ladies on. So uh, hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, let me just go ahead and show you guys my belly because I don't have nothing to say. I have been really like boring, boring person lately. Um, just kind of coasting. I'm kind I'm enjoying coasting. Not really doing much, but we're having a baby girl, and I'll show you my belly right now. So here's my belly. I'm just wearing a stretchy skirt. I'm so short that this skirt, it's like one of those uh, tube skirts, but I'm so short it goes all the way up to here and it's still dangling on the floor for me. So this is my belly. I'm getting pretty big. My stomach is really out there now. I can just imagine what it's going to be like at 37 weeks. I'm going to be huge. And this is my stomach from the front. Here, let me see if I can tuck this shirt. There. Belly from the front. Belly again from the side. Not really much of a big difference from last time. But this is my belly. And she's moving right now. So, this is the belly update and the bump update. Pregnancy 28 weeks. I will be back at 30 weeks to give you guys another update so i will see you later bye